Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I have an exciting tool to share with you. It is the AES Wave U-Scope. Yeah, you might have seen this on Instagram, YouTube, seen them everywhere. Uh, they've been around for a long time. I think this is an updated version. Uh, I got the master kit, so it comes with ignition testing and a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to do a, what a bunch of different testing looks like with this thing. And uh, yeah, and I think you're gonna wanna get one. So let's get into it. All right, doing a little testing here with the U-Scope. We're gonna test a few things to see what it looks like. So we're just back probed. Uh, this is a 3.5 uh, Toyota Sienna. There's nothing wrong with this Sienna. So we're just back probed in the fuel injector. Uh, we got the ground here and we're hooked up right there on the side. And so here you can see, this is what the injector pattern looks like. And right there you see we have 2.24, 2.25 pulse width, all right? So now that purple line is showing you what the reference voltage looks like, so what it, what it should look like. So now we're gonna hit this OK button because we're down here on the M, which is, uh, uh, oh my God, brain fart. Anyways, uh, menu. So now we're gonna scroll down to preset and we're gonna hit OK. And now down here at the bottom, you see where it says reference show, it's highlighted. So that means that we're on that specific one. So we're just gonna scroll to the left one time and we're gonna hit OK. And now it shows it without a reference. So now to bring that back, we're just gonna go back to preset. And then right here where it shows reference off, now it says on and you can see that the, the reference turned on. So that is testing a fuel injector. To get the fuel injector, what I did was down here, you can see the M is highlighted. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna go down here to preset and hit okay. Now we're gonna use the up and down arrows and we're gonna scroll up to actuators. Now right there, it says inject L injector secondary SGND, I'm not sure what that stands for, but basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna scroll left and right until you get to where you want whatever you wanna test, injector with an amp clamp, injector, idle solenoid. All right, I'll show you how we're gonna set this up. We're gonna test some ignition. So here we are in the exhaust cam sensor of this uh, 3.5 uh, Sienna. So now you can see we are scanning the um, the cam sensor. So now what you can do is you can scroll over. So right now it's on 100 milliseconds. So you scroll there, you use the up arrows to change it. That's 500 milliseconds. Break it down to 200 milliseconds. 100 milliseconds. 50 milliseconds. And then you can change the size by going right here. And we're in one volt right now. So there you go to two volts. So that's testing a cam sensor. So now we're testing the intake variable valve timing solenoid. Just sitting here at idle. So there's a signal there. So you could see like maybe if you had a code you could easily just turn this on, back probe your solenoid right there, and you know you have command. So that's the intake solenoid. So again, we can, uh, we can go from here and we can change the voltage scale. Five volts, two volts. And then you also can change the time. So there you go, there's five milliseconds. Look at that, we could break it all the way down. Two milliseconds, one millisecond, 500 U, little US's. <laughs> Always have brain farts. So there is the intake solenoid. Okay, so I was able to, to get the, the low amp probe in use for the video. So I got this uh, three liter uh, Ford Escape that came in as a crank no start and scanned it and had a fuel pump code. 
And so I got the U-scope here with my low amp probe. And what I do is I just put a little jumper, a jumper loop in here for the fuel pump fuse. And so I'm sitting here scoping the fuel pump. Now normally the fuel pump humps, they should be pretty close to the same. Uh, these are not. So I'm not gonna worry about the cursors or anything like that. But this is just one more use of the U-scope and just how simple it is to use. Got a Hemi here with a PO340 code. Uh, so here I am. All I did was back probe the cam sensor signal wire. I've already confirmed that the 5 volt reference and the ground were good. Then I'm tapped into a ground, just grounded right there. So all I had was the key on, hooked up the wires, plugged it into the U-scope, turned the U-scope on with the key on, and then started it. And it immediately started scoping the cam sensor. So here we are here. So all, all I am is I'm, is I'm scrolled over right here to the time base. And you use the arrows on the side uh, right here to go between the bottom presets and then the top. You can scroll in longer time. You can zoom in just with easily pushing the button. And we can bring it all the way in. So really simple, really convenient, really easy to set up, which is the key. Especially, you know, if you're a flat rate guy or, you know, you're working with a bonus. This is important not to have to go through and try to set it up. So there it is, U-scope, scoping the cam sensor on a 5.7 Hemi. Finally got a chance to test some ignition with this U-scope. Let me show you on this 2010 Forester. It's got a misfire on cylinder four. Let's see how to test this thing. Let's see how simple it is. So we got it hooked up right here. We just got the ground hooked up to the ground on the engine right here. Uh, all we got is the, the plug wire lead right here on the plug wires. Uh, a little tip on plug wires. Sometimes you want to separate them uh, like that uh, because when they're too close together, uh, sometimes this lead will pick up on this one and give you false readings. So let's see what we got. All right. So on this back cylinder, we got great ignition. It's firing fantastic. On cylinder one, we got no output. You come over to here. So this is cylinder two. And that is a great looking coil, great looking firing pattern, firing line. And then we'll go to cylinder four and cylinder four is dead out of the coil. So I got no output whatsoever from there. And when you try to power break it, where you desire any amount of spark, it won't run. It's running rough right now. Uh, so let's see how simple this is to set up. So I'm just going to power it off. So let's just look at how easy and quick it sets up. So we already have the lead plugged in here. So it's going to boot up. It's going to boot up really fast. I actually haven't used this for quite some time. So all we're going to do is we're going to just scroll that way to the M. We're going to come down here to preset. We're going to scroll down to ignition. Okay. Let's put it on a good cylinder. So now all we're going to do is we're going to come over to there where it's five milliseconds. Oh, we're gonna, oh, so there you can look at, if you wanted to look at it firing a bunch of times. All right. But we want to look at, we want to pinpoint it. We want to look at just what it'll do. So there you go. So there is our ignition pattern that we want to see that shows us everything that we need to see. You could actually do quite a bit with this pattern here, but it sets up that simple. So we'll come over here to another good cylinder. So there you go. So this one's got a bad coil and a bad wire. So another great use for the U-scope. Super simple and easy to use. Hope you enjoyed this video of this U-scope. This U-scope has so many capabilities and I haven't even figured it all out. Um, even some of the settings. 
Uh, I don't use it every day, and so when I go to use it, I have to try to remember what to do. So I'll have a future video where I go over some of the settings and also uh, some more amp clamp testing. My next tool I need to get is a high amp clamp because I'd like to do a relative compression uh, on gasoline vehicles, especially diesels. So that's that's my that's my goal for a very soon video to come out. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. You get notified of all my future content, which you definitely don't want to miss. Thanks for watching. See you next time.